The last time I checked Notion, right before this recording, the calendar had a month view, but no week view. A day view. And the list view worked, but required a bit of configuration. So you found an Obsidian plugin, of course, that can do exactly that. Is it the popular calendar one? No, that one uses daily notes to be able to navigate through your daily notes from the plugin. Still useful. Not for me. The difference with the full calendar Obsidian plugin is that each event is its own note. So when you click on it, you can open up the note and you can drag drag and drop the event across the days, across the times, months, whatever view you're in. Ooh. You can also make it an all day event, which removes the time start and time end and puts it to an all day event. Oh. And you can also make it a recurring event. So you can say it's every Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever day you want. And then when you save it, it appears in those places moving forwards in time. Oh, and because the calendars are locally stored, I can change the color on the calendar. What? Yeah, and you can also have a, an iCloud, a CalDAV, a, a remote calendar. But you haven't tried them because you don't use any of them. Doesn't stop me from saying that they're there. And then when you add a calendar, you get two options. Choose the color, which you obviously we've gone through, and then choose directory, which basically means folder. So I can click on uh, the root folder or the journal folder. So if I was to go to the journal folder, add a new folder. Habits. And then go back to the settings and add a local folder, choose directory. I now have the journal habits folder. I can make that one green. Green, just like my other calendar, add calendar, and now I have a green habits calendar, push save. And now when I come in to create an event, I can go to the calendar, select habits, call it habits, save the event, and it's green. Nice and simple, but what about the recursive event thing? Well, this recursive events basically means that when you tick it on, it's going to look for the subfolders. So at the moment, we've got journal as a top level folder and then events and habits. If journal was a calendar folder, then it would look for the events and habits to go into that folder. Ah, so there could be event overlap. Yes. So if I create a calendar and choose the directory as journal, we're going to leave it as black. Right. You can see the event one has been duplicated because it's inside of the journal calendar. The habits has also been duplicated. But if I create a new event, go into the calendars and select journal and then save the event that one is black but the duplicates are purple because they are the recursive events from that setting why not put it in the sidebar you can but when you drag it into the sidebar you can see it's all sort of mushed you'd have to expand the sidebar so you actually see what's going on so we've got the month then we've got the week, then we've got the day, and then we've got the list of all the events and stuff that's going on. Alternatively, because it's a tab, you can click and drag it out so it's its own window, and then you could use it on a second screen, which is what I tend to do. Ooh, I use my second screen. We don't all have two screens, you know. Anyway, adding events is pretty much the same as any other calendar app. So drag and stop or click. Yes, although you can't drag it backwards like Morgan, it doesn't give you that option. But Morgan is like the best calendar app. Yeah, and... yeah, move on. Okay, so moving to the events. When you click on the event, you can open up as a note. And because it's just a file, you can do that with any plugin inside of Obsidian. What do you mean? Well, I use the database folder plugin, which you've covered before. Yes, and I have a deadline property that when I click in and go to the settings, the ID is date, which is what the calendar uses. So if I change the date here, you can see templater is 24th because I've already done that video. If I move it to the 31st, now when I go to the calendar view, you can see the templater is now on the 31st rather than 24th, or I can just drag it back, it goes to the 24th. And now when I click inside the videos, the date has been changed again. Oh, nice. So, so date of view also works. Yep, so you can see we've got a daily note here, and what I've got is two data view queries. I've got a link to the page, I've got the due, and then I have the events. If we move a couple of things to the past, so let's move that recurring one, change it into the past. You can see the event one has changed, it's now due in the past, it's red showing that it's overdue. We've got a link to the event, to the page if we need to go there. Or you could do something like this and have all of your events for today showing with the start time, so that's 3.30 and 4.30. I'm not being up that early, but that's something else you could do. So you can filter that. Yeah, exactly. So when I'm in the data view query, I can add a, a from whatever folder, because if you have a look at the folder systems, from events, from habits, and I can look for a specific event or a specific calendar for whatever view, because one of the drawbacks of the full calendar is you can't filter out calendars. It just shows everything. Although that would be nice, I don't actually think it's needed. Especially as things like Google don't give you an easy way to switch calendars anyway. You have to go to the settings and click them on and off. Morgan does it with hotkeys. This is about Obsidian. Shut up. But Morgan did say they're working on an integration or a plugin to have Morgan and Obsidian work together. And I think this is a really nice implementation of that. Mm. 
Especially as you already have Caldav already. Precisely. What about the daily notes? Well, at the moment, there's no links on any of these days. You just hover over them and it just shows you what it is. You can't click through anything, so it doesn't link to any of the daily notes. That's a bit of a bummer. But it is on the plugin roadmap, so if developers want to help out, or if Morgan decide to do an integration and they do it, who knows? Nice. So uh, how are you using the plugin right now? Well, the content calendar is a no-brainer. I mean, I've got content as read and I can see what content's coming out or who's already gone out. So using the DB folder as a table slash list of information and then going to the full calendar for a, a bigger overview. Exactly. And other projects can be planned out as well. Because you can have a time block events slash tasks, which you can use for bigger projects. Yeah. So longer projects can have tasks in here. So I can come into here, go to actions, and then add whatever the task is. Then when I open up the note, I can add in different task queries in here, which are essentially subtasks of the event that's going on, which can be linked to the project using some sort of database folder group filter view property thing. I do notice a date in the name of the event though. Yeah, it's a bit annoying, I agree. I mean, I'm treating it as a link at the moment and then I'm just using the title that's going in because of the full calendar plugin and I'm just using that one instead and you can do the same with data view. So like here, I've got the event title and then I've got the link to the actual page over on the side. Right, so using the title metadata inside of the page as the name and then using the file name as the link. Yeah, not, not ideal but functional. How do you use Morgan and this together though? Well, Morgan has the normal calendar stuff of other people's calendars, so shared calendars, events that automatically go in, links to web calls and things like that for scheduling meetings. And tasks, apparently. Yes. But as I bring in more ways to use Obsidian, my Morgan use is actually decreasing. But why put it all in Obsidian anyway? Not all in Obsidian, a lot in Obsidian. It's, it's serving as my baseline and the speed is pretty good. The mobile app update is amazing. Bet there's a future video on that, so uh, subscribe so you don't miss out. And because the calendar is inside Obsidian, I have an offline calendar that I can use to reference the events, the tasks, the schedules and stuff, and I can add and change to it when I want. It's basically like Google Calendar. Not complete offline functionality, but it does what I need it to do for the moment. This is a shorter video included in my extended brain course, which goes over more nuanced workflows with additional tools like Morgan, Zotero and other things to help with life, business and research management. More information in the description below.